Hi there, my name is Butchus and I've been playing Duel Links for a while and since the OCG art came out I really wanted to know how to data mine or how to edit the files myself because I've been working on changing everything from the OCG art into an OCG art with completely English text which is super super tedious to do but by doing this I've figured out how to uh, data mine the game I guess you could say and how to edit the files yourself. So technically with this you can uh make your own ui you could change character art to be custom it, it really opens the doors to uh modding dual links i think that's really interesting and i'm hoping that maybe people start doing that because that would be really really cool but for this specifically i'm just going to show you how to data mine and how to pull the graphics because i know some people are curious about that and then in a future video i will show you how to actually edit the uh, edit the files if you want to do that so uh when i looked it up i saw a lot of people saying that they need to like program their own they need to code their own program basically and i didn't really buy into that i didn't think that everyone was going to do that granted there is only a few people that do data mine the game i still didn't believe that they were all doing that and that there had to be like some public program out there and there is and it's called Asset Studio. You can literally look up Asset Studio download and it's gonna be the first thing that pops up. It'll also be linked in the description. If you want to data mine and look at the files yourself, you can also uh, save them. Uh, I can show you right here that I definitely know how to do it because I've been doing it myself. And uh, you can see that this is definitely the uh, OCG art as there is a, um, a halo, I guess. <laughs> and you can see it's in English text. So I am working on this myself. And by doing this, I figured out how to uh, how to data mine it. So again, all you need is Asset Studio. And once you've downloaded it, you just click here. It'll uh, send you here. And then I downloaded the 64 one because I have a 64-bit computer. I believe this is the one that I got. It might have been this one. I think it was this one. Anyways, we're just going to grab this again. We'll see it if I have a one. Yeah, so this is the one that I got. I literally opened it up. And uh, I, you can extract this wherever you want. I have my own folder somewhere. My desktop's a little bit messy, so uh, bear with me here. I'm going to put this here and I'm just gonna go into uh, my file explorer. Go into my do -do 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 E drive and we'll just name it Asset Studio, right? So we're gonna put this here and we're gonna drag all of our folder or all of the files into that folder. And then we're just going to open up Asset Studio GUI. Uh, we're going to allow it. It's perfectly safe as far as I know. I mean, I don't have any viruses. So, uh, and we're going to load a folder. Now, this is going to take a long time, like a long time. You need to go to your uh, Steam folder, wherever that is, right? Go into Steam Apps, Common, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And I have a backup myself right here, which is actually the English stuff. And this is all the OCG art and stuff. I'm going to go into here. Uh, this, you should only have one folder, but if you have more than one, that means that you have more than one Steam account that you've downloaded Duel Links on, and I cannot tell you how to figure out which one is connected to which account. So you're just going to have to open up one of them and trust that it's the right one. And then you just click select folder. Now this is going to take a long time. There's a lot of files for it to load. So I'm just going to skip ahead. If it doesn't take a long time for you, then great. But I know for me, every time I do this, it takes like probably like 10 15 minutes so uh i'll be back when it's done and i will show you guys how to you know save all of the folders because it actually does it itself um you can export everything if you want which will include the uh, voice lines it includes the text first things uh it includes the 2d assets it includes the 3d assets it includes pretty much everything so uh, i'll show you how to filter those out to figure out which ones you want because you probably don't need all of that. You're probably only looking for the 2D assets if you want to edit the art. And maybe you want to change the voice lines. I don't know why you would want to do that unless you want specific ones like Japanese ones. If you want custom ones, I mean, at, the, at the moment it's not really available. But again, you can do it yourself if you really wanted to. So I'll be back in 10 minutes to show you how to do that. So that took uh, quite a bit longer than it normally does. But as you see, it's done and it's now reading the assets. And it's about to list them in you know right here to the left it's got to build them read them whatever and then it's literally just going to be everything right here now this is a whole bunch of gibberish uh if you just look at it so what we're gonna do because this literally doesn't do anything for us 
if we go over here to asset list you can see if you click on something bam look at this we are literally looking at all of the files inside the game this can allow you to change this right here is the uh, voice lines i believe um now obviously the art this is the art that appears on the left side uh the big thing obviously there's no text because it actually checks what language you're running the game in and then it changes the text from there which i think is kind of interesting figuring all the smaller cards already have the text written onto them which is why with the ocg art that was released recently um for everyone to use by the, the one person on reddit he um obviously didn't manually go in and change all of it because like this for example this is the ocg art and it's all in japanese but this is so small that uh they didn't really want to do it and with how much work it is it's just too much so uh yeah so now as you see we have literally access to everything in the game if you want to filter this to just be 2d assets which is just the cards and the character art and everything you just go to filter type and you change it here really really simple now you're gonna see all the cards uh character arts all of that stuff if you want to change the um the art for if somebody was going to lose for example you can do type you can type in cut in 003 and then it will show you like their losing art i believe cut in 002 shows you their um winning art i believe that's what this is and then i think cut in 001 might just be like the regular um or I, i'm not really sure actually this might just be like the little uh, verse art or something along those lines but i should i told you guys i was going to show you how to uh, export it if you really wanted to do that now there's a lot of files here so we filtered it just to be the 2d ones because in reality i think that's all anybody's really going to want so you can literally go to export and you can do filtered assets which it will then ask you to save it where and it's going to turn into a folder um really i don't I don't want to do that because <laughs> uh, I've already exported literally everything. So I'm just going to do it really small. So for instance, if we look at here, where was the card? This is a card. All right. So I'm going to right click it. You can also do this and you can do export selected assets, which since we only have one card selected, it's only going to do this one right here. So if we did like desktop and actually don't want to do it there because like i said it's super messy <laughs> so we're just gonna do it here and when we select the folder it exports it and then it opens it right here so it's going to be texture 2d this is the folder it's going to save all of these assets in and here you go here's the card it's super super easy to do um it only becomes a little bit more complicated if you want to actually change the assets but like i said this video is really just how to data mine if you guys want to see how to edit the assets let me know reply to the video whatever and uh, if people seem interested, I will, I'll do it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully this helps you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.